Six predator grooming patterns every parent should know. Most often, sexual predators are not those scary men who lurk around playgrounds looking. Look at that. Oh. Yay, look, I made a poop joke. Uh -huh. I told your future with my three balls and a poopy joke. I thought it was funny. Testing boundaries. Sexual predators will try to test the boundaries of your comfort levels. Sometimes they will say off-colored or sexualized jokes. Good morning. Welcome to November 1st, 2018. I get to take a break. Stop. Relax. Let the program run. Intimidating. Perpetrators use intimidation in order to keep the child from telling another person about the abuse. They will begin by testing the child's reaction to being blamed for something simple. They may use statements such as, no one will believe you, or threaten them with danger to keep them from telling. Her name is Margot. I told her several times to stop it and she won't listen. Now she's out on Reddit. So anyway, I just want Margot to know that I'm very very displeased with your activities and we see what you're doing. Stop. All right, there's this lady Susan who makes an offering. She come in and took a shit in my sink like every day for months and then just left. And because all people did was mess things up for me, um, pretty much I'm gonna mess up the entire future for everybody on the planet. Do you know what a pedophile tells you first? They say that cops are the bad guys and you can't talk to them and you can't trust them. See, that, that's one of the first things that a groomer does is they cause you to lose trust in the established authority group that is there to protect you. You guys should tell your family and friends about the Covenant, not the police, because the police and the FBI are the Covenant. Don't you get it? I mean, you guys are, are very smart. Because my kid told me that they were the cops. He told me they were the judges. He told me they were the courts. And he said the only way to help him was to get people. Sharing material. Sexual predators often share sexualized material in order to normalize sex. They will use terms freely in the presence of children. They will show sexualized pictures or videos. Several times they will send off-colored text or begin a sexualized relationship through messaging or texting. You, you see those YouTube channels, you know, when they, they send other people out to get other people's attention for them and when they get you to keep their secrets and stuff. It's all grooming behaviors that you can cross-reference with psychological research. Seriously, you, you guys are wicked easy to manipulate. Like, if I come out here and I start verbally abusing you, you know, because you like that dominatrix stuff, right? You, you like it when you get dominated like a bitch, right? Come on, hit the subscribe button, you little bitch. See? Grooming you. Grooming you. Grooming you. Grooming you. Especially him. He's like the best groomer on the internet. He plays so dumb. Like, who, me? Oh, I'm not grooming you. No, not me. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to get into your head and be a sociopath. I don't have any choices that violate my conscience. I don't have one. So you don't understand about me. I mean, seriously, go play with your Fisher-Price toys.